A pleasant good night to all our viewers around the world. We are the New Creation Ministries and we're coming to you live this evening with our Deliverance Night Service. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm your host, Reverend Michelle Sandros, and this is Bishop Cal Sandros. And it's a privilege, it's an honor, it's a blessing to be able to host you this evening. You know, this evening, believers, uh, wheresoever you are at this evening, my God, we just want you, my God, to tap in. My God, log into the source this evening, which is Jesus Christ. For those at home, you're in the comfort of your homes we encourage you to get your families my god get them to sit with you together my god as we seek my god to enter into divine fellowship with our lord and savior jesus christ this evening this evening i would invite you at this time to bow your hearts with me in a word of prayer Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your saving grace. We thank you, O oh God, that you are a wonder-working God. You are a miracle-working God tonight. Father, Lord, and we thank you, O oh God, for the many blessings, the manifold blessings, mighty Father. Lord, that has been bestowed upon your children tonight. Father, tonight, in the name of Jesus, as your people have gathered together, O oh Lord, for fellowship throughout the world, mighty Father, they have loved in, mighty Father, Lord, to lift up the name of Jesus, we release the power of your anointing from the crown of their heads unto the soles of their feet. Father, in the name of Jesus, we invoke the divine presence of your Holy Spirit, O Father, wheresoever they might be situated or located tonight, O Father. Let your Holy Ghost touch them tonight, touch and transform, bring healing, bring restoration, bring peace tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, we bind every plan and strategy of the enemy tonight in the name of Jesus. We bind principalities and powers we bind rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places tonight we tear down strongholds in the name of jesus and we bring every work of the enemy to nothing right now in the name of jesus we say let god arise tonight and let his enemies be scattered tonight father you take glory O oh father father we as we claim victory tonight in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen, amen. Tonight, believers, we would like to enter into our worship service. Praise the name of the Lord. And tonight with us, we have our worship team. Praise the name of the Lord that will be leading us in the worship tonight. Hallelujah. 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 We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is due unto yes, you, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you tonight, and none can take your place. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you. Praise the Lord.
you give us the honor. We give you the glory. Bless you, Holy Lord. Yes, Lord. 
believers tonight if you have just joined in us my god we are the new creation ministries my god and we are coming to you live tonight with our online deliverance night service tonight my god permit me to say a pleasant good night again to all the ministers my god in the house of the new creation ministries both branches my god it doesn't matter what departments you serve in tonight or what office my god you are serving in tonight we want to say a pleasant good night and god bless you and your family Pleasant good night again to all members of the congregation. Pleasant good night, my God, to all watch parties that are being hosted tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. And a pleasant good night to all first time viewers. Praise the name of the Lord. Tonight, before I hand over to the bishop tonight, before we get into the word of the Lord tonight, I would just like to send out birthday greetings to our brother Dexter Lewis, who is celebrating his birthday on oh, today. We want to wish you God's richest blessings, my God, and may he happy grant birth, you, birthday, praise Lewis. the name of the Lord, your heart's desire. Praise we would Lord. also like to extend a happy belated birthday to our dear little Kimmy, sister Kimmy, praise the name of the Lord. She usually addresses my God, her pastors, my God, as uncle pastor <laughs> and <laughs> auntie pastor. Praise the Lord. <laughs> right? Praise so, Lord. Uh, happy belated birthday to our little sister Kimmy. My God from the La Hockita branch. My God, God bless you. We love you, you, darling. Bless and may you, He can bless you with uh, good health to continue to see many, many more birthdays. Praise the name of the Lord, should He tarry tonight. Tonight, believers, I would like to hand over to our very own Bishop Reverend Carl Central. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank you so much, Reverend and Pastor Michelle St. Rose. Praise the Lord. Tonight is indeed another wonderful night that we have this wonderful privilege to come from our home to your home Amen. as we continue our fellowship in Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. And uh, we give God praise and thanks that we can come to you this deliverance night. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Even to share from the kingdom of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. We know that this is a time, it's a season. Praise the name of the Lord. And um, that there are so many questions in the hearts of so many. Yes. And uh, praise the name of the Lord. And uh, there are so many answers that um, people or folks are looking for. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Right now we have the existing um, um, United States of America elections that is um, taking place as we speak. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, the votes are being counted. Amen. You know, and uh, we have um, so many that are concerned of what will be the end result yes. of um, the, e the election mm -hmm. of the United States of America. I praise the name of the Lord. It's important, you know, that I exhort you. I can remember um, for the election of the United States of America in 2016 i could remember for that election even before the vote had begun to be counted and even before the election would have, would have been called and um, the spirit of god would have said to um our ministry that um that trump would have been the person that would have been elected for that period of time My God. and the spirit of god had told us that um, um, Donald Trump would have been the man for that time not meaning, praise the name of the Lord, not meaning that um, Donald Trump would have been the, the person who committed to the things of God but God said that he would have been the man for that time Amen. and I want you to know that God deals in the affairs of men, praise the Lord yes. and the Bible teaches that the God who is set up and he sat down, praise the Lord. Amen. And we saw for that four years that Donald Trump would have been there. He would have taken some stands and from very strong stands, praise the name of the Lord, that would have been pleasing, praise the name of the Lord, in the sight of God Amen. and Christianity. Amen. Amen. And we see that he would have taken some strong stand in yes. relation to um, abortions and in relation to same-sex marriages and that yes. sort of thing. Praise the name of the Lord. We have seen um, the fight there. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. For those who believe that they should have the rights to abortion and the rights to same-sex marriages mm -hmm. and all these things. And we see God have, have um, used him to 
and bring about certain things. We see even in Israel and the, the, um, the, the, the love and appreciation for Israel. And we know, praise the name of the Lord, that the spies um, Israel um, false, uh, you know, in the past and even now, praise the name of the Lord, we know the covenant that God made with Abram Amen. in relation to Israel, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So, praise the name of the Lord. But there is a lot of questions even now mm -hmm. that whether or not um, Donald Trump will be um, triumphant in this time and there is a lot of question yeah. but I want you to know as um, praise the name of the Lord as a minister of God as a prophet of God and uh, I don't know why this season praise the name of the Lord a lot of um, persons may have asked praise the name of the Lord that question even to me but God praise the name of the Lord have not shown fully to his prophets praise the name of the Lord and I'm saying even me as a prophet of God what will transpire in this election but you know praise the name of the Lord one thing I want you to know praise the Lord you know the last time in 2016 the Lord would have shown that his prophets and that the Lord would have used me as one of his prophets, praise the name of the Lord, to share with his people what would have happened. But I want you to know, praise the name of the Lord, so far, even up to now, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, the Spirit of God have not revealed unto me what will transpire, praise the name of the Lord, a couple hours from now. Amen. But I want you to understand, and I want you as children of God to know, and especially you men and women of God out there, what I want you to know, praise the name of the Lord, it is that we as Christians, or we the church, we don't depend on a man to bring to pass the will of God. Amen, amen, and what amen. we have seen is we see prophets that are hoping that Donald Trump win or hoping, my God, that um, because they believe that Donald Trump is the man for the hour and Donald Trump is the man for the hour. I want you to understand if Donald Trump or if the other side should win, I want you to know it will not change the plans of God. Amen. I want you to know that the church of God don't need Biden or Biden or Donald Trump, praise the name of the Lord, to, 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 to bring to pass the purpose of God, hallelujah, for, for his church. I want you to know the Bible teaches that my God, whosoever come in power, if they come in power and my God and they want to do abortion or they want to do same-sex marriages, I want you to know that people have the power of choice and they have the choice to go to heaven or to go to amen, hell. Amen. They have the choice to live for Jesus or to live for the devil. Amen. And they live for the devil. Hell is open and ready for them. God made provision for that. Yes. The Bible teaches that hell was not made for man. But those who choose to, to go against the will of God, they're going to face hell. Amen. But I want Amen. you to know they cannot change the plans of God. Whosoever comes in power. I want you to know my God. Listen to me. Donald Trump. I want you to know or, 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 or the other side. My God. Whosoever is in power. Do not my or will not amen, my amen, God amen. change the plans of God. Amen. The Bible teaches, hallelujah. Jesus said, upon this rock, hallelujah, I will build my church yes. and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Yes. And I want you to understand as a Christian, you must know whosoever will be in power. Yes, my God, we know that America is one of the foundation of the earth. Yes. America, my God, what what happened in America affects the world, yes. but I want you to understand what will happen in America is what God will allow. Amen. What will happen in the United States of America, it is what our God will allow. Oh, Praise yes, the Lord. Yes, yes. And my God, I want you prophets out there, be very careful because you, you, you are seeing and you are hearing prophets are saying that there will be a landslide. Trump is going to win with a landslide yes, victory. Amen. And the, my God, and, yes. and all the, he's going to win most of the states. Yes. I want you to understand you are already seeing yes. my God different to what 
prophets are saying. Mm -hmm. And my God, it, it don't mean that some of these men and women of God are not truly men and women of God. But sometimes we can become so emotional and we can allow our intellect and our emotion and our desires, my God, get in the way of, 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 of our calling. I want you to know you've got to make sure that you separate your calling from your intellect and what you desire and what you want to happen, my God. If you want to see something happen, speak it into existence. Yes, you have the authority to speak it into existence, but my God, don't say God say when God did not say anything. And what you have is a lot of prophets popping up all over the place. And my God, and a lot of prophecies. But I want you to understand, my God, the Spirit of God have led me tonight and have led us tonight to speak to you briefly on prophecy. We got to be very careful. The Spirit of God wants us to speak to you on prophecy because children of God as a prophet of God, hallelujah, my God, if if, if the prophet if the prophet don't sing an alarm yeah, when he see the wolf coming yeah. because we will set up ourselves for the world to laugh at us yeah. we will set up ourselves for the world my God to laugh at us yeah. we got to be very careful yeah. of when we say and the Lord say and it is not the Lord amen, so praise the Lord amen, amen. you got to be very very careful yeah. because I want you to understand I've seen many 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 over the years of my of my of my Christianity, my God, and that is a very long time. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. I've been serving the Lord and calling into this ministry. Yes. I want you to understand. I've seen my God zeal rise up and fell, my God, on the wayside miserably. Mm -hmm. And my God, and the devil swallowed them up. Yes. My God, zeal, my God, with knowledge can be a curse. So be very, very careful as you go about prophesying. Praise the name of the Lord. We want to talk to you about a, a little bit about prophecy on tonight. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise Pastor the Lord. Michelle. Praise, praise the, Lord. the Lord. Tonight, believers, as the bishop just mentioned, I hope that you have your Bibles with you and your notepads with you because every session we endeavor to teach the word of God to you. Praise the name of the Lord. So tonight our topic is prophecy. We would like to go into that topic a bit so you can be enlightened tonight as to what really is prophecy tonight. Amen. So prophecy. This is supernatural utterance in the known tongue. So prophecy is an it's a supernatural utterance in the known tongue. It means praise the name of the Lord. It it is super supernatural mean it is not natural and anything Amen. supernatural comes from a supernatural being which it had to come it had to be utterance of god amen yes. and it is in the known tongue praise yes. the name amen. of the lord known amen. tongue amen. people amen. must be able to understand it and understand it clearly amen. not my god people must be able to understand it clearly go amen. ahead amen amen the word prophecy means to flow forth or to foretell and foretell Praise the Lord. So it means to foretell and to foretell. Praise the name of the Lord. Foretell means to speak forth. Praise the name of the Lord. To flow. Praise the name of the Lord. And to foretell means my God beforehand. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pastor Michel, go ahead. It is a miracle of divine utterance that has nothing to do with human thought and natural reasoning. Praise the Lord. So Pastor Michel said that my God, prophecy of itself, it is a miracle of divine utterance. Yes. It is a miracle of divine utterance that has nothing to do with human thoughts and natural reasoning. Yes. Natural reasoning, not what you think and what you feel. Mm. Oh my God, or oh, you heard something about somebody. Yeah. It is like quite recently we had this young man in the United States of America, they were that was prophesying and uh, my God and uh, I'm Benny Hinn and they, my God, were moved by the things that they were telling people in relation to the business. And when, my God, they do discover, my God, it was revealed that, my God, that he had things set up. It was, my God, things organized, my God, and then, my God, being spoken. So somebody, I want you to understand when we say here, it is a miracle of divine utterance that has nothing to do with human 
thought and natural reasoning. Amen. It is not what you plan. It is not what you thought about. It is Amen. not your reasoning. My God, it must be something that is coming from the throne of God Amen. that can be supported in the spirit, that can be supported by heaven. Amen. Heaven only Amen. support that which come from God. Praise the Lord. Yes, yes, Bless the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Pastor Michel. The human will and faith are necessary for its use. The human will and the faith is necessary for the use of prophecy. Yes. The human will, my God, that willingness to be used and also faith, believing, hallelujah, and knowing that the call of God is upon your life. Amen. And somebody, I want you to understand, praise the name of the Lord, mm -hmm. there is something that we teach about that is being called unction. Yes. One must know that that unction is there. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord, because I want you to understand, mm -hmm. prophesying is a serious thing. My mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. my God, homes can be broken up. Mm -hmm. Friends can become enemies because of a prophecy. Pastors can be, my God, pastors can be really, really, really cuted or, or my God, or even spoken of because of a prophecy, because of not my God, and I'm saying I, I, not my God, not a prophet truth, but a prophet lie. And I want you to understand, I've seen my God, many people or many being destroyed because of a prophecy. Yeah. My God, even what is happening right now in the United States of America, people are being disappointed. How yeah. could this prophet yeah. say this and, and look what is happening now? Yeah. And I want you to understand, listen to me, my God. If one is truly a man or woman of God, yeah. they have to know and make sure that they have that unction from God yeah. hallelujah and make sure that it is from God because it can come from another source yes. praise the name of and the Lord Bishop, you know a lot of people suffer a lot of losses because of false prophesied Amen. my God into their lives and just as you said a lot of marriages and homes because of misdirection you know, some of us, we have itching ears. We always want a word, but not the word. My God, amen, right? amen, so amen. So, my amen. God, we are, we are misled most of the times, and it costs us a lot. We suffer a lot of loss and damages to the end of it. Amen. Praise the Lord, bless the Lord. So, the Old Testament prophets were primarily preachers of righteousness, speaking under the direct unction of the Spirit in divine rebuke, correction, exhortation, edification, curse, or comfort. So it is important for you to note also, and praise the name of the Lord, and, and the Spirit of God helped me to go this way because, my God, you have so much happening, my God. When you look, my God, on the airwave, my God, prophets just, uh, names of, of prophets just only coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. But I want you to understand, yes, my God, it is good to desire good gifts, the best gift, but it is good to know that, my God, that you are anointed by God, yes. that you have that yes. unction from God Amen. because you, you now hold the life of people in your hands. Yes. So yes. the Old yes. Testament prophets, yes. as Pastor Mitchell said, they were primarily prophets, they were primarily preachers. Mm -hmm. So the Old Testament prophets, they were preachers yes. of, of righteousness. Yes. My God, preachers of righteousness. Righteous it means my God, whatsoever they say was in accordance to God's will. Yes. Yes. was in accordance to God's word. Yes. It was pure in terms of in good standing yes. and morality yes. and my God and, and not telling, my God, and not telling someone, my God, and not telling someone that my God, that, 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 that their husband is, that their husband is a good man, continue to sleep with him and when you discover the woman is not married to the man. Yes. Yes. I want you to understand, yes. listen to me, my God, you, the, the very prophets, the, 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 the words were seasoned with season. Whatsoever to say, it my God, it was in, in context and in, in the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. Amen. amen, amen. And Pastor Michel said they, they were prof, they were preachers of righteousness, speaking under the direct unction of the spirit. Yes. 
speaking under the direct unction of the spirit yes. in divine rebuke in yes. divine and divine she used the word yes. divine heavenly rebuke yes. divine rebuke heavenly rebuke mm -hmm. my god correction the prophets, my God, had the, the authority to correction. You can only correct something that is wrong if you know, my God, if you learn or study what is right and wrong. Yes, amen. You amen. cannot correct something unless you are learned about it. Yes. How can you make a correction of something that you are not learned on of, of it? Amen. How yeah. can you, my God, and the prophet, this was the prophet word, yeah. correction, mm -hmm. exhortation. How can you exhort? Yes. The Bible said, he that exhorted must wait on his exhortation. Yes. It means, yes. my God, he must be learned whatsoever you are teaching people. You must be able, my God, you must be able to explain it from the beginning oh. to the ending. Oh. My God, praise the Lord. Praise Pastor Mitchell, you want to say something? Um, I should say, and the Bible says that in the last days, my God, there will arise many false prophets among you. So it's a last day sign as well. But my God, one of the, the problems with a lot of people, my God, is that they can't wait, uh, Bishop right patience the fruit of patience my god. my god and endurance and temperance my god humility my god to be able to sit and to learn and let god properly well nurture and build character in them they don't have it amen my amen, god, amen, they amen. want it now amen, they amen, want it now amen, and they have amen. to execute it now amen you amen, understand but amen. my god as i say what a uh, hurry bird don't build goodness praise right? the lord my god Amen, amen. You know, you know, as you said, Pastor Mitchell, the Old Testament prophets, they, my God, they also were, in, were, were called to exhortation. Yes. They were called to edification. Yes, yes, yes. To edify. How can you teach on the Bible? Said, how can you teach unless you be sent? Yeah. How can you teach? You cannot, and God ain't going to send you unless you learn. Oh, come on. If you're not ready. learning, how God, if you're not ready to teach, Yes. How God, how could you say God send you? Come on, and Jesus led by example, Bishop, because Jesus had an appointed time, my God, to begin his ministry. He was the son of God. Amen. But my God, he had an appointed time. There were certain things, my God, he had to lead, my God, I should say, and show for true example. My God. Praise the name of the Lord. But he had an appointed time to begin his ministry. Praise the name of the Lord. So my God, be patient. My God, there is a calling upon your life tonight, but be patient. My God, My God the Lord. sit and wait and learn. Praise the name of the Lord. And when the time is ready, my God, God is going to send you out there and you will be properly well equipped. My, my God, God, praise the name of the Lord. My God, with that which you might be confronted with tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. The Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. As, as Sister Lopez is saying here, she said, yes, everything takes time. Yes. Patience is a virtue. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. And my God, hallelujah. It don't mean that the calling of God may not be upon your life. Amen. But my God, you have to make sure that you that you learn, that you, you grow, so, my God, so that you are ready, my God, to execute the will of yes. God. Amen. And my God, Amen. yes, hallelujah. You see, Pastor Michel went on to state, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, that the Old Testament prophets, they were also... They also had the authority to curse. Yeah. They had the authority to curse, and they had the authority also um, comfort. Uh, 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 to comfort. Praise the name of the Lord. Pastor Michelle, you can go ahead. My God, and even before we go ahead, when we look um, at the giants, my God of faith, like Elijah, Prophet Elijah, and these men, Bishop, my God, from the moment, my God, they heard the prophet was in the area, men used to fear and tremble. Amen. Because they knew, my God, that the anointing of God was upon their life. They knew that they were righteous men. And anytime they have to come to you, my God, it's either judgment or or proclamation or anointing my god and the people they were afraid my god and they reverence them my god. a great deal praise amen, the name amen, of the lord amen, amen. so my god we are continuing tonight praise the lord. there was an element of foretelling in all the foretelling of the prophets praise the lord so there was an element of telling what will come to pass yeah. my god in all their foretelling 
Yeah. Right, God. In all their fourth telling, they were always an element of of what will come to pass. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. And we will see that with Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Joel, Joel you Malachi. Malachi. You will yeah. see that even Moses, praise yes. the name of the Lord, even Moses. And my God, and we can go Enoch. on and on and on. Enoch. <laughs> Enoch, yes. Enoch, Joel. My God, we, and, and we can go on and on and on and on. My God, Brilliant. all the minor prophets, the major prophets, praise the name of the Lord. You will Amen. see there is always a foretelling my God, in their foretelling. Amen. A, a, a foretelling in their foretelling. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So, Pastor Michelle, go ahead. Praise the Lord. They made known God's immediate will to the people to whom they spoke, as well as they made known things to come. So, Pastor Michelle is, is claiming that up for you, making sure that you understand it, that they made known God's immediate will to the people. God's immediate will to the people. Praise the name of the Lord. To whom they spoke as well as the make known things that will come to pass. Yes. So my God, so the, the my God, they, 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 what, what, they, they speak about what my God, immediate what has happened and, and, and they can, and, 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 and my God, and they can show you it in the word of God too yes. also. Amen. And my God, and what will come to pass. Prophecies. Praise the name of the Lord that will come to pass. Praise the Lord, Pastor Michel. The New Testament prophets were mainly speakers of edification and exhortation and comfort. First Corinthians chapter 14 verses 3. So, so it's important to note this and Pastor Michel, praise the name of the Lord. It is important for the folks out there to know this that the New Testament prophets, Pastor Michel said, mm -hmm. were mainly speakers of edification. Yes. So the New Testament prophets, not my, the New Testament prophets, not just were mainly, but even praise the, the, the prophets of God now, praise the name of the Lord. They are speakers of edification and exhortation. As I said, edification means to educate. Yes, amen. Exhortation, it means, praise the name of the Lord, to exhort of something. Yes. You, 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 you cannot exhort nothing. Mm -hmm. You exhort something. And what do you exhort? You exhort the will and purpose of God. Yes. How can you exhort the will of purpose of God? The, group, the blueprint of God is in your hands right now. Yes. I hope that you all have your Bibles. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And, uh, and praise the name of the Lord. And uh, um, evangelist, um, Alan is saying here, everyone is different. Everyone, everyone, everyone a, a different measure according to his or her calling. Amen. And that is the word of God. The, the, that is in exactly what evangelist is saying there. It Amen. is in the word of God. Amen. Praise the name Amen. of the Lord. As what Trisha caught just now, it, it's an, in the word of God. And these, and my God, these folks, they're quoting from the Bible. They're Amen. quoting Amen. from the word of God. That is God's word. Amen. Amen. But praise the name of the Lord. But it's important to note, as Pastor Michel said also, that the New Testament prophets mm -hmm. were mainly speakers of, of edification and exhortation yes. and, 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 and comfort also, Pastor, you said. Yes. And you give us a script there. What First is that script Corinthians there? chapter 14, verses 3. First Corinthians chapter 14, verses 3. Let us, let us look at First Corinthians chapter 14, verses 3. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let, let, uh, okay, so we are reading as First Corinthians chapter fourteen and verse three. Hallelujah! If you have it, say that. But he that prophesied, and I want you to look at. Come on, I want to make sure that you have your Bibles. Praise the name of the Lord. Make sure that you have your Bible. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come, come on, look, 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 look at. Your Bibles again, First Corinthians of the 14 and verse 3. But he that prophesied speaketh unto men to what? Edification. To what? Edification. To edification. So he that prophesied speaketh unto men to edification yes. and also Ex to exhortation. exhortation and also to what? Comfort. To comfort. And this is the reason why I we said to you a while ago. That my God, the New Testament prophets, my God, the New Testament prophets, Pastor Michel said, they, they are speakers of edification, 
They are speakers of exhortation. Amen. They are speakers of comfort. Praise the Lord. Amen. So my God, so they must be, be learned to, to, to educate, to educate. Yes. They must be learned, hallelujah, to, 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 to exhort others and to exhort others in the will, in the plan, in the purpose of God. Amen. Yes. Amen. And they must be learned to, to be able to comfort the heart of people. Yes. To comfort the heart of people. I want you to understand a prophet must have the ability to bring comfort to your heart. Yes. To, to comfort your heart. You see, he speaks wholesome word as much Amen. as my God. There are times the wrath of God, hallelujah, might be spoken through him. Jesus. Hallelujah. But he speaks comforting word. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He comforts. So we go there again in uh, um, 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 14 and 3. But he that prophesied speaketh unto man to edification and exhortation I and comfort. Right. Pastor Michel. Some of them were also foretellers of future events. Now some of them and some prophets were foretellers of, of future events. Yes. And you will see, I want you to understand, a lot of people don't know that, that Paul and, and, and there were others in the Bible, they, before they became apostles, they were yes. prophets. Yes. Yes. And you will see even Peter in, in Acts, you know, speaking about praise the name of the Lord or foretelling mm -hmm. what Joel spoke of. Yes. And you will see Peter that is in Acts chapter chapter 2 verses, two, 16, two verses 16 to 21 and if you look at Acts chapter 2 verses 16 to 21 you'll see Peter is saying here in Acts chapter 2 verses 16 to 21 he said but this is that which is spoken by the prophet Joel and it shall come to pass in the last days said God I will pour my spirit but, but P -P Peter was prophesying here and Peter goes on to add more to what Joel said Amen, amen. So Peter here was prophesying, mm -hmm. praise the name of the Lord. So you see, even before these men became apostles, they were prophets of God, mm -hmm. praise the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. You will see also in, in Acts 11 and verses 28, mm -hmm. praise the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Acts 11 and verses 28, praise the Lord. If you have your Bibles, I want you to get there with me quick. We want to run on, praise the name of the Lord. Acts 11 and verses 28, mm -hmm. the Bible reads it, and and, and 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 they stood up one of them named name Agabus. Agabus and signified by the spirit that there should be great that there should be great dead of farming throughout all the world, which came to pass in the days of Claudius Caesar. Caesar. Yeah. So praise the name of the Lord. So you have seen here, my God, prophets was among them, which my God, which speaks certain things and it comes to pass. Yes. Foretelling. So Pastor Michel said there that some of them were also foretellers of future events. Yes. Amen. Yes. So praise the name of the Lord. If you look also at Acts chapter, chapter 20, 21 verses 11. Yes. Acts 21 and verses 11. The Bible read it. And when he was come into unto us, he took Paul good and bound and bound his own hands and feet and said, Thus said the Holy Ghost, so shall the Jews at Jerusalem bind the man that owned this girl yes. and shall deliver him unto the hands of the Gentiles. Yes. So you see foretelling here again mm -hmm. of what will happen to Paul. Yes. That Paul is going to die in Jerusalem. Oh my, and you know Bishop, um, one of the signs my God and the Bible points us my God to a true prophet is that what that which he is foretelling my God comes to pass. Praise the Lord. Once it comes to Pass. That is how you prove, my God. You're not supposed to just take any and every word that comes your way. You have to prove. Praise, praise the, the Lord. name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, now, praise the name of the Lord. There might be different times. Um, one don't know when, I should say, you, you have prophets sometime, and what I see, you have a lot of prophets prophet, popping up now and telling you that um, this is going to happen this time, and this is going to happen this time, and in one year time, this is going to happen, and my God, and one year past, two years past, three years past, five years past, and it never happened. But I want you to know that there are things that can be prophesied that will take some time. It may take five years, it yes. may take ten years, 
Jesus, you will see my God. Look, certain things that have been prophesied since before Jesus' time and it didn't fulfill yet. Amen, amen. And it didn't fulfill yet. I but I want Lord. you to understand, my God, you have prophets, my God, you have so-called prophets, prophets, my God, with uh, advertisements. It comes, my God, who prophet and they tell you this is gonna happen within this time and and at so and so season. I have been in meetings and I've seen my God people who call themselves prophets there and tell people within so and so date by now and by this month and the month this same month of next year you will have you will be you will have a child. The doctors told you that you, you you cannot have children, but you will have a child. And my God, the woman didn't have no children yet. And my God, that is approximately that is approximately twenty years ago. I'm talking about. Yes. I want you to understand. Listen, to me, somebody. My God, you have to be very careful uh, as a prophet of God. You have to be so careful yes. when my God, you're saying it's the Lord that's speaking to you. Yes. Yes. My God, yes. gotta be so careful. Amen. So you see also, my God, in, 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 in Matthew, Amen. Matthew chapter 24, look at Matthew chapter 24, 25, Jesus at one time is saying it in Matthew 24, yeah. Matthew 24 and verses 25, Jesus said, yeah, behold, I have told you before. Yes. Behold, I have told you before. My God, that is foretelling. Amen. He's Amen. saying, I told you before. It means to foretell. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. So Jesus, hallelujah, my God, was a great example of a, my God, of a, of a true prophet. Praise Thank the name of the Lord. Thank my God, Jesus. hallelujah. My God, behold, I tell you before. You will see also in the book of Revelation, John, and my God, John, hallelujah, the, the, what, what some call John the Revelator. Praise the name of the Lord. John the Revelator, praise the name of the Lord. In Revelation chapter, chapter um, one. 1, verses 1 to 3, John the Revelator is saying here, praise the name of the Lord. I hope I'm not moving too quick, but remember, praise the name of the Lord. Bible studies on Tuesday, we go out at the slower, but I just kind of running. Praise the name of the Lord. A bit, I hope that you bear with us tonight, but somebody, the Spirit of God, have me to just speak on this topic. And I want to share thought, my God, food for thought. Praise the name of the Lord. You know we always have some fresh manner. The Spirit of God jump in the Spirit and we come out. Praise the name of the Lord. But my God, I know all what is happening right now in the United States of America. And the thing that you're seeing on the, on, on the airwave. My God, and prophets popping up all over the place. My God, it's important. The Spirit of God said, look, my, make sure that you, that you, that, that, that you all um, educate my people. Your, the group that you, that you have under your stewardship Praise and all God. those who are under your listening ship, my God, make sure that you educate them a bit on prophecy. And that is what we're doing tonight. Yeah. So, praise it. So, you see John here, the revelator in the book of Revelation. Yeah. Oh my God, John the revelator, my God, in the book of Revelation, my God, you know something? My God, if it was left after the devil, I wouldn't have been on set tonight. You would, mm -hmm. My wife alone might have been on tonight. Don't ask me the reason why. Praise the name of the Lord. But God is good. I'm standing. Praise the, praise the name of the Lord. Praise God is good. Lord. I'm standing. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. So, my God, so John the revelator. John the Revelator in, 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 in Revelation chapter 1 verses 1 to 3. He said, my God, the Bible reads, The revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave unto him to show unto his servants the things which must shortly come to pass. Amen. To show things, to foretell. Yes. Things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. He signified. So, so who? Jesus, my God, signified or give it to John. Amen. Amen. It was not John Revelation. No, no, no. No. It was God. Let us read that again. Let us read it again. Praise the, the revelation of Jesus Christ. Amen. So it was not John's own. No. Which God gave unto him, Jesus, yes. to show unto his servant things, things which must shortly come to pass. Oh, and it... Uh, and he and he sent and signify it by his angel unto the servant John. Amen, amen, amen. So God give it to Jesus Christ, the Father give it to Jesus, and Jesus, my God, and Jesus sing it, give it to John. Praise the Lord. Yes, yes. To yes, foretell yes. it. Amen. So John was not speaking his prophecy. No. Or no. is it, my God, or from some book. No. He was not reading it from some book. Or what he felt. Or he was not speaking about what he felt. Yes. 
then my God will, will speak in the mind of the, and, and what we have now is what we have now. We have a lot of people telling you we are going to prophet school. And what they're going to prophet school to learn is not the word of God. Eh? They're going to prophet school to learn, to learn how to prophesy. My God. When you don't understand, my God, if you study the word of God, the word of God will teach you how to prophesy. Amen. Yes, but yes. my God, in studying the word of God, it will teach you also that a prophet, my God, a prophet must apply himself to the word of God. Must. Yes. Must apply himself yes. to the word of God. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. So, so John went on to say in, in verses 2, he said, who bear record of the word of God? Yes. Look at it there. Amen. Who bear record of the word of Amen. God? So it, a prophet, my God, whatsoever prophet should say, it must be a record of the word of God. Amen. Amen. If a prophet is speaking things that don't bear record of the word of God, it's Amen. questionable. Yes, yes, yes. And you are hearing a lot of prophets, my God, and listen to me, my God. People are so gullible that, my God, my God, people are saying amen to it. My God, people are saying amen to things that is not in accordance, that, uh, that are in line with the word of God. Yes, yes. You yes. wonder what is happening in this time. But the Bible teaches that in the last days, this is going to happen. Amen, amen, amen. And amen. children of God, God, listen, God is tired of it. He's going to send Jesus just now. Amen. And you know, the Bible talks about that as well. The Bible says that in the last days, my God, they will heap unto themselves, my God, because they have it in ears, teachers, my God, that will bring satisfaction to them. They want to hear what they want to hear tonight. Praise the name of my God. But it's another end time sign. Praise my the God. Name of Praise the, Lord. the name of the Lord. And, 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 and yes, um, evangelist, he edifies, the admonish. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And, 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 and you know, you know, praise the name of the Lord. We ought to be, because John of himself, who was one of the performed prophets, my God, who give us the book of Revelation. Yes. My God, the Bible said, who bear record of the word of God. Yes. What record he was bearing of. Because I want you to understand that Daniel spoke it before. Yes. Daniel spoke it before. The prophet was speaking the word of God. Amen. 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 The prophet amen. was testifying of the word of God, of the will of God. Hallelujah. Anything out of the word or out of the will or out of the plan of God is not of God. Yes, yes. Somebody, I want you to understand. Listen to me. Prophets of God. Prophets of God, prophetess of God, whosoever you are, wheresoever you might be, my God, I want you to understand God is not mock. Yes, amen, amen, amen. My God, why why the Spirit had me to go this way tonight? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Verses, praise the name of the Lord. And to be of, of God and of the testimonies of Jesus Christ and of oh, and Jesus. of all things that he saw. And of all things that he saw. And listen to me. What others hey, he was testifying of the word of God. And of the prophecies of Jesus Christ, and what John would have been seen as a prophet yes. when he was taken up to heaven. Amen, amen. And the things that was being shown to him. Yes. So three things, my God, it's important to know there. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. It is that he bear record of the word of God mm -hmm. as a prophet. Amen. And of the testimony of Jesus Christ yes. as a prophet. Yes. And of the my God and of the things that he saw as a prophet. Praise God. But all my God must be in context with the word of God. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Verse 3. Blessed is he that read it, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. Yes. And keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand. And somebody praise the name of the Lord. My God, blessed is any man that will abide and apply himself to the word of yes, God. Amen. Somebody, I want you to know, listen to somebody. You know what the Spirit of God told me as a young prophet? As a young prophet, I was excited about a lot of prophecy and prophecy and prophecy. But you know what I learned over the years? All the prophecy and prophecy and prophecy, my God. People, it has some people come to church, come to the church just with itching ears. <laughs> yes. They leave the, all over the place and they come and they come to hear a word. 
and my God, and when you hear about them, they're all over the place. And some of them call and tell you, you know, I'm pastor. Everything you tell me come to pass. And I say, wait, um, are you in church? No, but I had to come and I had to come and get thanks one of these days, sometime a year after. My God. After come and give thanks. You know, yes, you cast out the devil from my daughter. And my daughter will know. I, I'm how your daughter going to church. No, she all over the place. You know, but I'll be thankful for it. I want you to understand. Listen to me, somebody. A prophet. Listen to me. My God. It is not my God to, to just, my God, tease the ears of people who have itching ears. Yes. But my God, it is to bring them to Christ. And let get them to serve the Lord. Amen, Hallelujah. Amen, 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 How do you amen. understand? Listen to me, somebody. The, the prophets that Joel speak about. It is prophets, my God. Hallelujah. That my God, their swords will be sharp on both sides. Yes, and that yes. sword there, right, it is the yes. word of God. Hallelujah. Of God. Oh, yes. to pierce asunder. Yes. And to, my God, and to cause men and women, hallelujah, to be drawn to the kingdom Amen. of God. Amen. Amen. So, Bishop, the assignment of the prophets have never changed. My God, it has never changed over time. My God. Praise the name of the Lord. Because, my God, there are many offices. But, my God, we work in harmonization and in synchronization to one purpose. My God. Praise the name of the Lord. And anytime you are, you are in, I should say, you're operating within that office and you have strayed from that purpose, my God. you are operating on your own self-will. My God, amen. Amen. My God. Too many people get destroyed. My God, what I see people get destroyed. Yeah. My God, even in prophecy, people is telling them, prophets, so-called prophet is telling them that the, the, the demon possessed and another demon possessed. Ah, jeez, yes, amen, amen. Come My on. God, sometimes the person need medical help. Yes. They yes. need medical help. You can pray for them and ask God for healing for them. But my God, you, my God, because of, 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 of certain behavior, my God, a prophet said, the, 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 the child is demon possessed. Your, your husband is demon possessed. Your wife is demon possessed. My God. I want you to understand, my God, and, 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 and close all the doors for help for that yes, person. Yes, yes, yes. My God, we know that demons are behind all of these things. But I want you to understand that as men, as prophets of God, wheresoever uh, in the world you might be, you got to make sure that, my God, your, your prophecies are seasoned with the word of God. My God, Bishop, I knew of one person. My God, that person was more or less um, an elder, my God, in the church. My God, and not our church, I'm not talking about our church here now. I'm talking about a person that I knew. And that person, my God, to the end of the day, had a book of prophecies. My God, yeah. that person was going around, my God, and everywhere that person would land, my God, and they say there's a prophet or a, a prophetess, my God, they give them a word and they have it written down and their life is directed through that. And as a result of that, everything fall apart for that person. Yes, yes, yes. And that yes. person is strongly delusion. Yeah. Right? Strong, a strong delusion is upon that God is directing my God, that, that person's footsteps. My God, there right? are people who are going around seeking information about people yes, and so calling them and prophesying to them. No. I, listen, I want you to understand, my God, this thing is devilish. It is. And it's important. My God, I, 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 I now understanding maybe why God has us to go in that direction. Mm. But Pastor Michelle, go ahead. So we want to move on. The purpose of the gifts is for edification as may be seen in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 3, verses 4, verses 24, verses 25, and verses 31. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The purpose of the gifts is for edification praise as Lord. may be seen in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, praise verses 3. Praise the Lord. Three. Pastor Mitchell, I want to touch this here first. In, 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 in. Praise the Lord. I know. think I, I want to close off there on, on that. Praise the name of Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the so Lord. We, these, these utterances, whether... Praise the Lord. The prophecy is not equal. Praise the Lord. Prophecy not. is not equal to the written word of God, for it will cease. But the written word will abide forever. Now, now prophecy, and it's important, praise the name of the Lord, it is important for you, for you to Amen. note that prophecy is not equal to the written word of God. And I want you to Amen. understand that. 
Prophecy is not equal to the written word of God. Why? For prophecy will cease. And that is one of the problems, I think, my God, well, that is one of the problems that, that, that um, some churches have today. Yeah. And I'm saying congregation, right? And, the, the, and um, groups of people. Yeah. Some people, my God, they run for prophecy. And if they're not getting a prophecy, my God, they are all over the place. Yes. But I want you to understand, my God, it is not equal to the word of God. It will cease. Yeah. And, and, and if you look, look at, at, at 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 8, Pastor Michel said, is there you said this, baby? Amen, amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 8. Praise the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 8. Sorry, yes. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 8. Praise the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 8. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. First Corinthians 13 verses 8. Praise the name of the Lord. If you, mm -hmm. if you have it, say amen. First Corinthians 13 verses 8. You have to say amen. Praise the Lord. Pastor Michel, you have it. Yes. Praise the Lord. I'm reading. I, I want you, Pastor Michel said just now that prophecy is not equal to the written word of God. Amen. For it will cease. Yes. It yes, will cease. Yes, yes, and and yes. look at First Corinthians chapter 13 and verses 8. Charity never faileth. Charity never fail. It yeah. means love, it never fail. Amen. And love, I want you to understand, listen, Mr. Body, love, praise the name of the Lord, can come from the word of God. Because Amen. for God so loved the world that he gave us only begotten. Only begotten. So that is so. where it starts. Amen. Amen. And charity we know, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Charity never fail. But whether there be prophecy, they shall fail. Yes. Whether there be prophecy, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Yes, yes. So people running all over the place. My God, prophecy. My God, you see, it is not my, it is not equal to the word of God. Uh, and you know, bishops, as you said, people running all over the place. My God, bishop, people, my God, they want a word. They want a word. Why don't you begin practicing the principles of God. You need, what if you need deliverance, you need a breakthrough, start practicing the word of God, the principles of God, and you will surely have the promise tonight. My God, Praise my, the name of the Lord. If you, want, if you want a word, study the word of God. Yes, amen. If you want a word, accept the word of God and the teaching of God. Amen. My God, if you want a word, accept the teaching of God. It is the, because, oh my God, prophecy is going to fail. I, my, I, prophet, I prophesy to thousands of thousands, tens of thousands of people I prophesy mm -hmm. to over the years of, of, of my calling as a prophet of God. And my God, I want you to understand, listen to me, somebody. It is only those who hear the word and accept the word of God, how the unadulterated word of God. It is only they that are serving the Lord now. Yes, yes, those who yes. get a word, I want you to understand, my God, they continue all over the place looking for a word. <laughs> yeah. They continue all over the place looking for word. Some of them, my God, they passed through the church just for word and they were they were already, my God, into demonism. My God. And my God, and they're living for the devil now. Mm. And my God, listen, they believe to themselves that the word that they got before it, my God, it also helped them in what they're doing now. My God. And somebody prophecies is gonna fail. Yes, it is. But the word of God. My God, listen to me, Mr. Bad. Pray, pass me some go a little bit. Prophecy is going to fail, but the written word of God will, will, will what? Praise the name of the Lord. Prophecies, pro, it is, prophecy is not equal to the written word of God, for it will cease, but the written word will abide forever. The written word, praise the name of the Lord, of God, it will abide forever. Amen, Look amen. with me in, 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 in 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 25. Yes. First Peter chapter 1, verses 25. The written word of God, that is the only thing that will abide forever. Yes. My God, all the prophecies. I Listen, Mr. somebody. I want you to understand. I've seen, my God, many prophecies. I've given to men and women. And today in their life, my God, yes, hallelujah. I thank God. It is a good thing. It is a wonderful thing. When people, my God, can see answers to what God said to them. And people can call and say, God, yes, 
God you, you, is good because you, the word that you have given to me, it came to pass. And man of God, you're truly a man of God. Yes, I feel good. But I want you to understand, I give God the glory. But most important, what I want you to listen to me, somebody. If you want, hallelujah, to be strong. If you want to overcome your situation, your circumstances, abide in the written word of God. It will Amen. never fail. Hallelujah. Amen. Man, not man, in the prophecies man. that I give to you. Praise the Lord. Or not in the prophecies that you may be all over the place looking for. Yes. I want you to understand, listen to me, man and woman of God. Those prophecies a lot of times will fail you. Fail, yes. And I got, look at, 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 at first Peter chapter 1 verses 25. 25 yes. But the word of the Lord endured for how long? Ever. Forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. Yeah. This is the word which is preached unto you. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Paul is saying here, my God, if you want something that will last forever, my God, hold on to the written word of God. Amen, the amen. unadulterated, and I'm saying the unadulterated, God, my God. Some people, my God, they mix the word of God with all kind of things. Because your life messed up and you're doing everything that is wrong. And you try, my God, you, you, you take this scripture that you feel is good, that will suitable for the life that you're living. And my God, and the, the ones that you believe is not suitable for the life that you're living, you leave it there. Yeah. Or, you, or you water it down so it can sound good. Hmm. Amen. Oh my God. So we want to look at Psalms chapter 119 verses That is our last the amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Psalms 119 verses 89. Psalms 119 verses 89. Forever, O Lord, and I want you to look at that. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled where? In the heaven. In the heaven. It means that the word of God cannot be corrupt. Amen, amen. It is incorruptible the word of god praise god hey, my god i want you to know the word a word from a man can corrupt yes a word from a man can corrupt and amen, my god this amen. is the reason why my god you have a lot of my god church hoppers yeah. and people who are looking for a word they always have problems in the relationships yes yes they always have problems in their home some of them problems on their job because somebody give them a word and tell them, my God, that somebody on the job want to kill them. So everybody will look at them, the job is a murderer. My God. I want you to understand, listen to me, somebody. If you want something to hold on to, hold on to the word of God. Amen, amen. Prophecies will fail. Yeah. What is happening right now, you have a lot of astrologists is a bit concerned about yes. what is happening in, in the, the United church. States and, of America. And also in the church worldwide. And in the church worldwide. Yes, yes. Because there are so many prophecies that came out in relation to the result, or what will be the result of the United States of America um, um, election. I want you to understand, listen to me somebody, there is a possibility God could turn things around and Trump can win. Mm -hmm. There is a possibility but I want you to understand prophecies have already gone out that there will be landslide victory and this is going to happen and that is going to happen and what state you will win in and the states that they say you will win in you already lose. My God. I want you to understand that is not good for, that is not good for the people of God. Amen. It is not good for the church. You know, there is one person by the name of, 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 of White, her surname would have been White. That would have prophesied for many years. Time that my God that that um that the rapture will take place. My God. And every time the rapture didn't take place, my God, they come and they change it. And you have, my God, ever great men, and I'm saying great men who people would have looked up to. I want you to know, my God, they have called a lot of a lot of people, my God, to, to fail. A lot of people to give up. 
because they trusted in their words and their prophecies so uh, much. But you know, Bishop, just as the word teaches us here tonight, a prophet must know the word of God. And if believers, and this is why the Lord is pointing us in a direction that we need, my God, that prophecies will fail, but the word of God is forever settled in the heavens. If you know the word of God, you will know that no man knoweth the minute nor the hour, my God, of Christ's appearance. Or when he's coming, my God, it snatched the church away. We my God, praise Amen. the name of the Lord. If Amen. they had known that, they would not have been. You will not have prophesied. If you had known the word of God, you will not prophesy a prophesy. time and a date for the coming of Christ. Yes. When the Bible teaches that yes. no man knows it. Yes. No yes. man knows. We we are seeing the signs. The Bible teaches we will know. My God, we will know the signs. We will see the signs. My God, we will not know the minute nor the hour. Yes, amen. But we'll know the seasons. Yes, amen. And we are know we know that we are living in the season right now. Amen. And it's okay, a prophet of God will, will feel and know the season, but he don't know the minute nor the hour. Don't know. My God, don't I don't know. You can ask me over and over again. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus don't even know. <laughs> Not even Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is only the Father knows when He's going to release my God, His Son, to come and get His bride. Amen. Praise the name of praise the Lord. Praise the Lord tonight. We give God praise and thanks for you again. Amen. Amen. We thank God for His word. And I'm saying to you, praise the name of the Lord. Those of you who are under the reach of my voice, praise the name of the Lord. Know that whosoever is the winner of the election of the United States of America. God is in control. Know that God is in control. Yes, amen. But one of the things that I want you to take note of tonight, if you did not even listen to most of what was being said tonight, it is that we don't need a man. God don't need a man. God don't need a man. Amen. God don't need, need a man to make sure that his that his plans and purpose be fulfilled. No. Men will come and men will go. Men came to this world and they died. But God continued to act in the affairs of men. Yes. I want you to understand that the church don't need any help from Biden or Trump. Amen, amen. The church don't need the help. Amen. No, the church don't need the help. I want you to know, my God, in the United States of America, whosoever win, if they, my God, if they start to... to, to, to to ordain um, homosexuals to be ministers and all these things. Children of God, you must know that now is time for you, the sons of God, to rise up and speak the truth. Yes, amen. Now is time for you, the sons of God, to rise up and declare the will of God amen. and the purpose of God. My God, don't my God hope that Trump would have done it for you or Trump will do it for you. Who knows? Trump can win for the next four years, and when he wins for the next four years, right. he turned and he become worse than the other side, who you're expecting, my God, to. Who knows? These things do happen because he's a man too. Yes. He might have shown certain um, qualities that Christians are happy of in the first four years. But my God, he could say this four years, say, oh God, I need to care about another four, and I can't go another four against, I doing what I want this four year. My God. And my God, and so many Christians can be disappointed. But I want you to understand, listen to me, whether it's Trump or, or, or Biden, I want you to understand, listen to me, God is not dependent on none of them. Upon this rock, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. God, who God, God is the who God is is looking forward to to make sure that His will is being done on this earth. It is His church. Amen. Amen. It is you and I. Praise the name of the, the Lord. Of we are the ecclesia of God. Yes. And we are the one, my God. We are the one to to make sure that my God that lawlessness don't prevail in this place. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And unless. When God take us away from here, lawlessness, lawlessness can do what he want. Yeah. But as long as we're here, we, my God, will be the instruments of God. And we will serve the purpose of God on this earth. Amen. Amen. We are not depending on Trump or, Bi or Biden to do it. Praise God. Or my God or the Democrats or the, the Republicans to do it. We are dependent. On that which God has already given to us. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Tonight, 
We give God praise and thanks again for you. Amen, amen. We thank God for you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Lopez is saying, yes, they need help. They need help from the church, the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we give you the praise. Thank you, Jesus. We give you the praise. Hallelujah. Tonight, we thank God for each of you again in a special way. Mm -hmm. And tonight, hallelujah, just before I pray tonight, I want to pray tonight. I will have Pastor Michel pray for the church, for for the membership, and for your need tonight, because there is no distance to pray. Tonight is deliverance night. But tonight, we want to give that opportunity to those who are under the reach of our voice and never accepted the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and even those who are in a backslidden state, now is the time to come back home. Now is the time to come back to the Lord. Amen. My God, if you're, if even you were in the new Christian ministry and you're backslidden, we are calling you back home. Amen. Come back home. My God, our arms is open wide to take you back and to love you. And my God, and for you to grow and reach the place that God wants you to be. Praise, Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. Tonight, you're out there. And you heard the word of God. Can you bow your hearts and speak these words after me as God received you into his kingdom. Praise the name of the Lord. Father in heaven, in the name of your son Jesus, I come before you. Asking of you to forgive me for the many sins that have come against you in thoughts, in words, and in deeds. Blood out my transgressions. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me. For I put my trust and open you. Let not those that put the trust and open you be ashamed. Yes, Neither let them transgress without causes. Yes, Father. Father, let your peace that pass it all understanding yes, abide within my heart. Yes, Father, teach me to know you, to love you, and to serve you. Yes, Lord, I commit my life unto you. Use me unto your honor and unto your glory. In the name of your son, Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 At this point in time, praise the name of the Lord. For those of you who have your seed offering and your love offering, praise the name of the Lord. We would like to lift it up in prayer. Thank we know you, that you will bring it with you on Sunday. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. What is the Lord's is the Lord's. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I want you right now to just hold it in your hands. Amen. Heavenly Father, in the name of your yes, son Jesus. We come before you, asking the God your blessings, yes, O oh God, upon the givers. Yes, Jesus. Father, bless them in their going out. In the name of bless Jesus. them in their coming. In the name of Whatsoever Jesus. they put their hand to do, Father, we pray that they will prosper. In the name Father, of Jesus. you have given seed to sow us, yes, and they came by here and sow tonight. Yes, Let the windows of heaven be opened. Yes, and Jesus. pour them out blessings yes, that they are not able to contain. Yes, let it be pressed down, yes, shaken together, and running over. Jesus. And Father, let your name be glorified in them. Be glorified in them, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. Tonight, I want Pastor Michel to pray for that need. Amen. Whatever is that need tonight. Somebody, I want you to know, my God, I never thought that I could have been on set tonight. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I am here. Praise and God. somebody, I want you to know, devil from hell is going to stop me. I did not even attend work today. I did not go on my job place today. But I want you to know, listen to me somebody, the devil is a liar. Amen. And I will always have the victory. Because you know why? My God is good. Thank my you. God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, I thank you for Hallelujah. the victory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord, Pastor Michelle. Hallelujah. Father, tonight, oh God, we come before your throne of grace tonight. Father, lifting your people up in a special way, mighty God. Father, even as your word have went forth with power and with might tonight, yes, oh Lord. God. Father, it would have, my God, opened the eyes of understanding to your people tonight. We yes, thank Lord. you for the power of your Holy power Spirit tonight Holy Spirit. that is there to lead us and guide us into all truth. Yes, Lord. Father, as I lift 
the ecclesia before you yes, in the Lord. name yes, of Lord. Jesus. Name of we Jesus. release the power of your anointing, oh power Father. Anointing. Father, upon each and every member, every oh member. Father, of the household tonight, yes, from the crown of their head unto the soles of their feet. Yes, Lord. Father, even as we understand the times and the seasons that we are in, oh God, yes, we understand, Kura mighty Satanada. Father, that we Robo need to be watchful. We need to be vigilant, oh God, My God. as believers, Father. My God. Father, for oh God, the enemy, oh God, he's seeking around, oh Father, he's yes, walking Lord. around, yes, Lord. Father, seeking whom he may devour tonight, yes, Lord. right now in the name of in Jesus, the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, as we put on the whole armor of God, uh, Father, God. and we stand in the liberty, uh, in the liberty. where Jesus Christ has made where himself made free, free tonight, uh, yes. Father, we bind every curse, bind oh Father, every, curse. every negative word, every mighty negative God, word. Uh, that has been spoken against us, in oh the Father. Name of Jesus. Father, that has been released into the atmosphere Power of God. and assigned to us or our families yes, or our Lord. job places or yes. other. We bind their works. We cancel their assignment yes. in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name we of bring Jesus. their works and open shame tonight oh God. in the name of Jesus. In the mighty Father, name of tonight, Jesus. oh God, we pray, oh God, that the spirit of faith yeah. and of boldness uh -huh. and of courage uh -huh. and of a song mind tonight uh -huh. will be evident and upon your people yeah, tonight. Uh, we pray in the midst, oh God, uh, of their trying and testing tonight, uh -huh. uh, that they shall remember, oh God, your yeah. words, uh, the power of your spoken yeah. words. Uh, Father, the words that you have sent, uh, oh Father, to heal our diseases tonight, yeah. uh, that they will hold on to your words yeah. tonight. Uh, they will declare your words tonight, uh, yeah. for heaven and earth will pass away, uh -huh. but not one jot nor tickle, nor tickle. Uh, of your words will pass away. Uh, we pass. understand tonight, Father, yes. that you are the I am that I am yes. tonight. Uh, Father, you can be uh, anything yes. that we desire anything you to be, oh Father. Father, to tonight, for those that need healing yes, tonight, uh, manifest yourself to them uh, yes, as Jehovah Rapha. Papa those God. that need a deliverer tonight, uh -huh. uh, manifest yourself as Jehovah Sabo yeah. in the name of Jesus. In the uh, those name that of Jesus. need covering tonight. Uh, yeah. Manifest yourself as Jehovah Nessie tonight. My God. Uh, those that need peace in their life, yeah. uh, manifest yourselves unto them uh, My God. as Jehovah Shalom tonight. Yeah. Uh, in the name of Jesus, oh. uh, you are our faithful shepherd tonight. Uh, oh and our dependency is upon you. Yeah. Uh, Father, we thank you, O oh God, uh -huh. for where we are at in, in oh, this yeah, life. Yeah, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you have purpose it tonight. Pa, oh uh, Father, for those that have backslidden tonight. Yes. Lord. And they have heed the call of yes, Father, Lord. Lord, of that call tonight. And yeah. you are calling them. They, have, they are convicted tonight. Uh -huh. We pray in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. Lord, that you will go, mighty in the Father, name and of Jesus. suck with them. Meet with Satan them, oh, yeah. Father. Robo Lord, in the Robo midnight, Yo, oh, you have said in your yeah, words yeah, yeah. that when oh, you are oh, sleep tonight, oh, you God. have chosen in, in that time, oh, Father, yes, to open their ears and speak to them, yes, uh, whether it be through dreams and visions, uh -huh. or whether it be mighty Father directly to uh -huh. uh, 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 God, uh, uh -huh. for divine visitation in this hour, uh -huh. for we understand it is not normal times uh -huh. that we are uh -huh. in, uh, but Father, even oh God, uh, as your servants tonight, uh, uh -huh. we can discern, oh Father, yeah, Lord. Lord, that the atmosphere is rich, oh God, my Lord, rich my Lord. with your movements, my oh Lord. Father, Lord. and we can sense more than ever before. Lord, that your appearing can be any second now. But Father, tonight, oh God, we pray, oh God, that you will continue to strengthen us. Continue to keep us, oh Father. Keep our families, oh God. Continue to guide us, oh Father, through the power of your Holy Spirit tonight. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And everybody say, Amen. And Amen. And Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Brother Williams. Hallelujah. Upon this rock, Thank you, Jesus. I will build, Thank you will build you, a church, Thank and the you, gates of hell Hallelujah. shall not prevail against yes, it. I love that, brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Father, we give you the praise. Hallelujah. Tonight, hallelujah. Thank you so much. Jesus. Thank you so much, Pastor. Hallelujah. I want for those of you who are out there, and wheresoever you are and you would like to contribute, 
towards the ministry you are being blessed by our teaching praise amen, the name of the lord amen, amen. and you want to make a contribution so a seed yes, into good grounds yes, yes. so a seed into good grounds and i want you to know my god it will come back to you being multiplied yes and you will have a testimony please call me and let me know praise the name of the lord what the lord has done for you Thank praise you, the lord. name of the lord bless the lord I want you to take this account number and you can sow a seed to this account number wheresoever you are out there in the world. Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. You can translate to this account. And even my God, you might be fellowshipping somewhere and you want to bless the ministry, bless the ministry. Amen. It is okay to bless a ministry that is blessing you. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Amen. So may, if your fellowship is somewhere else, I'm not telling you to leave your church and come with us, no. but bless us. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Bless the ministry. Amen. Praise the name Amen. of the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord with our our account number it's first citizens bank in tunapuna and that is uh, number two zero three nine nine two zero three nine nine seven four five zero zero one seven four five zero zero one so that is two zero three nine nine seven four five zero zero one and that is first citizens in tunapuna you can praise the name of the lord you can transfer your seed offering um, your, 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 your seed um, there and I want you to know that God hallelujah you can attach to that seed whatsoever is the desire of your heart Amen. and I know that God is going to bring it to pass praise the name of the Lord and the, it will Thank encourage you, us Jesus. and give us my God more to be able to do more for the Lord Amen. Amen so the ministry will be able to have more to do more hallelujah for God and uh, hallelujah and uh, praise the name of the Lord and be able to even bless you more. Praise thank the Lord. You, Jesus. So we thank God again for you. Amen. We want you to know that that and um, on Sunday it's back in church. And praise the Lord, Pastor Michelle, you would like praise to make those Lord. announcements. Uh, this coming praise Sunday, the as you know, the the uh, the government has given the churches, my God, in Trinidad and Tobago, an hour time, my God, for uh, fellowship. And we have chosen, my God, our hour for uh, on Sundays, praise the name of the Lord. So at the La Hokita branch, we will be there from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. And at the Aruka branch, Five Rivers Aruka Junction, we will be at that branch from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. We want to encourage you to ensure that when you come to church, just as you will not forget your mask, make sure that you mask up, praise the name of the Lord, and come with the intention, my God, to have a good time, my God, in the presence of God tonight. Amen. Praise, Praise the, the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord and I want to again encourage you to remember me, my family in prayer. Remember me. Praise the name of the Lord in prayer. Praise, Praise the, the name of the Lord. Remember my family in prayer. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord and uh, I uh, we, we covet your prayer. Praise the name of the Lord and praise the Lord. And uh, again, um, um, may the best man win in the election of um, the Majesty, and I'm saying the best man. Um, the whosoever win don't mean that they, they, they are the best man. I must say, because to the end of the day, as I said, that God is in the affairs of all things. Amen. And Amen. Uh, um, if somebody who well, win Bishop. will not um, will not go in the direction of the the, the 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 church or of the word of God. I want you to know God will deal with that also. But Bishop, you know, one thing I want to state is that purpose is a stubborn thing. Oh, Pastor Praise Michelle, the name I love of that. the Lord. And the Lord had been saying that to us. Purpose, purpose is a stubborn thing and the will of God will and shall prevail Amen. tonight. Amen. Purpose is a stubborn thing. Praise the name it of the Lord. That which is purpose must come to pass. Amen. And we will be talking about that a little bit. We will be talking about, um, we will be take, talking about predestination and purpose. Praise, Praise the name God. of the Lord. So we will be talking about that. Sometime Amen. in the future, Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. So God bless you. Praise we love the Lord. you. Have a, Praise night. The, have a blessed night. Praise the name of the Lord. Have Praise a blessed night. Praise the Lord. Could you just lift your hands like this? May the grace of our God and the sweet fellowship of His Holy Spirit continue to rest. You may not abide with us. Move on forever. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. Hugs. One of the family member, love them. In your house. Kiss them. I'm talking about those in your house. <laughs> Kiss them. Tell them that you love them. Praise the name of the Lord. And uh, I want all those who are um, looking at us right now, know that from our heart, we love you. We love you. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord.